yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you go, oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys these sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you single mother hey single mother single mother single mother hey and we are back with kendra's mansion part two so um this part this took me the longest time and i didn't really think it was going to take me a long time but it did but in this video we're doing the entire downstairs um and we pretty much we finished everything downstairs we didn't do like the pool area and all that i do plan on having this done by the next part because i don't want this to be like a whole like let's build like the last mansion was i kind of just want to get it done um but one thing i did find myself doing was rushing and that's one thing i don't like doing for a build but it still looks nice i still like how it turned out in, in the end so i'm not entirely upset with it because when i build i really like or decorate i really like for it to be like a really soothing experience and it was but like towards the end i just was like all right let's just get it done um but i really do like how the house is turning out i like how everything came together we go with this nice that little green color there that's kind of the accent color for the house so we do that with white and grays and some gold so um i wanted this to be a little bit more of a grown-up build i wanted this i want this house to be the house that they stay in forever like i'm not looking to move kendra any freaking more so i wanted them to have a, a house that was a little bit more um a little bit more grown up for them and kendra's growing up and she got all these kids now and you know the main purpose of this house was for her to have her family to have a place to stay and for her to get back into what she wants to do so i thought you know having a more mature house one of the mature mansions would be uh, a lot nicer for her so that's what we ended up going with especially because she's in Deso valley and she's in one of the mansion slots at the top of the hill i really wanted her to have a mature looking house so we go with this nice cute mint color um throughout the house with grays and whites and i really liked how it goes and it, we almost add like this like dark um not a dark teal because i don't even know what that is but like a dark blue greenish color like blue green um and it actually accents really well with this um and we have like large panel wall and she got three height walls like it's a whole thing all right all right so we um end up doing the kitchen, the dining area, and the living space. And I honestly, I was having a lot of time. I was having some trouble with cluttering. So we may even do a stream where we just go through and do some cluttering. And then the next part you see of this will be the upstairs with all the bedrooms and stuff like that. Just because I feel like it is missing something. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I do feel like it's missing something. I feel like it's a little bland. Um, but it does come together very nicely. I do want you to know that. I do plan on going back to adding a lot more uh, clutter, um, but I, I like it. It's simple, and I think that's what's throwing me off because Kendra's not a simple person. But I would definitely wanted something different for her and for the family because I just feel like they need to grow up. <laughs> like, my babies be going through so much. I just feel like they really do need to just grow up and you know kind of i want their house to grow with them so i gave them a lot of space um it's just really nice i think it's gonna be nice for them to have a space where they could just all come together and all that kind of stuff so that's what we go with and i love this green color i just thought it looked so glam like a lot of y'all might not think it looks glam but i think it looks so nice like i don't know um i just really like that color like a lot um, so originally I was going with the L-shaped island. I ended up going with the big block in the middle because I found that it fills the space a little bit more. I wanted them to have a huge kitchen. I just want to go through and do some more detailing. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I just want to have a little bit more detail. So we may even do that in a stream this weekend. Um, there won't be a stream. On, if you're watching this today, it comes out, which is Friday night. Um, there won't be a stream on Saturday just because I'm going to spend the weekend with my family. I haven't really spent any time with them since I moved and i'm gonna go to church and stuff so we'll be back with streams on sunday which is weird because i never i never I, I always try to use sundays for my me time but i'm actually taking saturday to do that so um yes there won't be a stream on there will be a video tomorrow on youtube but there won't be a stream and there won't be a video on saturday on sunday but there will be a stream on sunday so kind of flip flopping there if you get me you get me if you don't it's okay so um this like i said is the whole downstairs and i really wanted to get a lot more done but i have family coming over if you don't know i just moved into my new place i feel like i say this every video but i just moved into my new place and um 
my family is still coming over to check out stuff and we still buying stuff and putting stuff together and you know just spending time with my family something I really really missed when especially when I was in Texas so um I will drop anything to spend time with my family um if that means my video comes out a little bit later that's what I do so um yes just having a little me time just getting things together but like I said I really like how this house turned out even though I felt like I was rushing I don't even know why I felt like I was rushing but a part of me was just like get this out get this out because I want to play single mother I think that's why I was rushing like I'm really ready to play my game um but I really wanted to do like a wood tone in here I still think I'm going to incorporate that light tone wood because it looks so good with that green it looks it just looks really nice i think the house overall looks glam but it also looks grown up and i want to know y'all opinions on it i want to see what y'all think about everything that's going on now of course the upstairs and the bedrooms are going to be different because everybody already has their own personality but for the general space i wanted it to be ground okay i wanted kendra to be on her grown woman ish she already had to build this house because of dawn i just wanted I just wanted her to like have her own space and a different design technique not all glitter and pink and all that kind of stuff just wanted it to be a little bit more ground so as you see we go with this mint color all throughout the house and I do these like large panels um even a little texture wall on the side and it looks really nice now it was a little difficult trying to put everything together and kind of still make it look glam without putting my own spin on things if you don't know I like I really do like uh, the little farmhouse chic look in The Sims. I think it's beautiful. I love it. I love simple stuff. I like bright colors. I like things to be open and inviting. So I, it always, it all, it's always a struggle to try to get me out of my comfort zone. Um, well, it's always a struggle to do things outside of my comfort zone because I tend to like uh, certain things. Now, I did have a little moment, and I don't care, because it looks really freaking nice, but these built-ins look really good. Not very modern, but I do think it, you know, it has modern capabilities. <laughs> um, but like I said, I do want to go through on a stream and kind of uh, clutter the downstairs, but also want to remember my game performance, um, just because the last mansion was so heavy with CC. I mean, that mansion was huge. It was three floors. We had a decked out uh, the girls uh, wing their whole suite was just full of a whole bunch of clutter that of course was all high poly same thing with their offices downstairs and I think that was kind of like our downfall I just kind of went really crazy with the house it was super cute and very beautiful but um, I kind of want to lay low a little bit on this house I just wanted to work like I just want to play the game so I'm not gonna go super crazy with cluttering um, definitely just finishing the downstairs alone in one part should already tell you that you know, we didn't go too crazy with clutter, but I do want to add in some more small details here and there. Um, but yes, if you're a builder and you watch the channel, I would love to hear your feedback. To me, I just think this space is really open. Like there's no, uh, there's no, uh, beams or there's no kind of like separating walls. Like it's just one huge square. Um, I really want to add some definition, but I do want to keep it simple. So if you're a builder on the channel, architect, because I know there's a lot of people who um, watch building videos just for builds. If you have any like suggestions or opinions, I, I'm open to hearing them because like I said, this is outside of my comfort zone, but I really like it. Um, a modern family home is what I'm trying to go for with uh, with a glam flair. Look, sister, look, sis. It's a lot, okay? I know it's a lot, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make it look really cute, and I think it. I think it came along, but it just needs some more work, okay? Okay. So, um, I hope everyone is having a beautiful Friday. Oh, I found these like little name plates that are, like vintage names, and all her kids' names are in here. How cute is that? London, Paris, and Boston. They're all in here. So I found them and I was just like, I was like, oh my God, we did real good with that. Like, oh my God. And it's from youngest, it's from oldest to youngest. I thought it was super cute. Um, but if you have any design elements or, you know, and the house is nowhere near done. I mean, I'm hoping to get, you know, a lot done by the next part, especially bedroom should not take me that long. But if you do have any kind of um, suggestions, y'all always know I'm open to hearing them. So, yes. Um, y'all, we are so freaking close to 100K subbies on here. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. I cannot wait to hit such a beautiful milestone. I already got a spot in my house for like my little play. I'm just so super excited. And I just want to take the time to thank everybody so freaking much. 
for just being a supporter, just being, just being here, just clicking that subscribe button, watching these videos. Before you end this video, please like it, like it up. It helps the channel a lot. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Share this with your friends, with your families. And uh, yes, if you're excited for Single Mother, let me hear it. Let me hear what you want to see, um, what's going to happen. Because I kind of already went through everything. Kind of talk about what we're going to do, how we're going to start the series. Um, there's going to be like a little time skip. So um, people are going to be different ages. Like Boston's going to be a teenager. Um, Don and Kendra are still young adults, but adults. So let's get that straight. Um, London is still a toddler because we really haven't spent any time with her being a toddler. And Paris and Sierra are in stardom. So they're not in the house anymore. Uh, Kendra's going to start off as a three-star celebrity. We're going to get her well into the acting career. Um, just kind of look at more perks and stuff of Get Famous because I promise you I have not explored that LP. <laughs> I mean that expansion pack because it's just so much. Don is going to be the trap. We're going to work to get Don getting his connects because I kind of want to see that from the beginning. We're not going to cheat him up or anything. And I want Boston to start working on mixing music. So we're going to be giving that some justice. And my little baby, my little toddler is just going to be the toddler. She's going to be so cute. I'm so excited to bring this back. A lot of y'all said y'all think Kendra should have another baby. If Kendra have another baby, it's going to be because Don want another baby. Not Kendra. But let me know what you think in the comments down below regarding all of that information I just spilled at you. And yes, I'm going to shut up and let y'all listen to some music. Uh, stay tuned for the pictures at the end. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys. I talked a lot. Oh, my God.